Hey, I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. Well, it's Sunday and I'm in the yard. Let's take a look at some of the things I did. Okay, here we are. This is the big flower bed in the front. Some of my flowers are coming back and some of them are definitely gone. This one looks like it's gonna make a comeback. Gone. Gone gone. It's like that in every flower bed. Some of them just couldn't stand the heat we had. So I will be doing some replacing soon. But I'm through in the front for now. I'm going to water later. I've got footprints in my yard again. I'm not too sure just what is putting these here. It seems to go on into the yard there. And then when it comes out, it comes out over this way. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, look at the guava tree. I smell guavas. Yeah, I think some of these are ready. What do you think? What do you think? They're big. You think that's ready? These are big. These are the ones on the side. Yeah, that came off easy, so that probably means it's like ready. We're going to give this a taste later on. But while we're at it, and right over here, let's take a look at some of the other things that are in the garden. Quiet says it should take like another three weeks for the carrots. Ah, not for the green beans, though. We'll be having green beans tonight. To the empty spot. It's empty right there. We don't get sun here during the fall. More green beans blooming. More green beans for dinner tonight. More green beans. And he says the beach should probably be about ready at the same time too. In another three weeks. Oh, you're rustling in the grass. I must have a lizard over here. But I don't see him anywhere. This is the fig tree. We already had figs this year. But look. I've got new leaves coming. And for a little surprise, look at that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> it's fall and I've got a fig on my fig tree. And lots of new growth coming. Look at that. Lots of new growth. Okay, here's the plants that are in the little uh, nursery area. Oh, what's this? Huh, something new. I think the uh, aloe are looking a little better down here in the drier part. Got some weeds in my pots again. Uh -oh. I'm growing more weeds than I am plants here in this little poinsettia. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these that aren't doing so well. This one's doing good still. This is our first little plant that we put in the pot. And sister isn't doing good. I think we're just gonna throw it out because I don't see any signs that we're gonna have like growth there. Oh. Poor baby, it's gonna have to go. These look okay. Okay, okay. And I keep saying these are getting too much sun, but I haven't moved them yet. I'm not really too sure where to move them this time of year, where they won't get so much sun. And you'll notice the uh, roses are starting not to have quite so many. It's kind of open up into a rose, but it's not not for a while. I still have to cut these back today. The days are getting shorter. So, oh yeah, 
with all these weeds. I've got some stuff to go out here today. And a peanut. I wonder where that came from. It's a sure sign that the squirrel is back around and it's an eaten peanut too. Yeah. I've got to cut that one back. Oh, I might take this one inside. That's pretty. What do you think? Yeah. Pretty, huh? Well, let me get to work and then we'll go take a look at the, the other side of the yard. Do you see that? That's a grasshopper. Oh. I'm not very happy to see that in my yard. Not very happy at all. I'm going to the uh, library this week and I'm going to find something for these guys to, <laughs> so they won't be in my yard. Well, I've got one plant at least that's really enjoying the heat. That's this long one. I started out, I thought it was a sunflower seed, but uh, yeah, I got a surprise. Quiet says this is from the cucumber melon family or whatever and we'll have to keep checking under the leaves because that's where the fruit hides. So this is first little peek at what we're growing here. There's another one. It's going to be another one. I don't know if you saw the pretty flowers last week. That's a really pretty white flower. After I water them, if they open up again, I'll show you. There's a purple plum. Cherokee purple. I already picked some tomatoes off of this little guy this morning. The early girl. Just purple pear. I don't know what would be brave enough to just eat that. It's got thorns and stuff all over. And of course my wild, wild, wild grapes. Yeah, grapes gone wild for sure. Some new growth. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I've raked the yard. No little footprints. Take a look around. They won't be there anyway, huh? But area over here they like to come so Wednesday we'll come back out and we'll take a look and see if we have more footprints well we're through with everything outside but I've started a new project inside so let's go in and see what I've started well we're inside now let's take a look at uh, some done projects first this is finished. It was part of a challenge from uh, Mikey Smiley on uh, the crochet crowd. This is a basket weave. This is the first time I've ever tried a basket weave. You see I had some problems. Where's the problem here? Right here. But it turned out to be perfect. It's a perfect little holder for the apple coasters. So I just put them in and it's going to go in the family room on the table. My new project I've got started. I'm hoping to get finished before Christmas. Ta-da! Quiets. This is going to be quiet spread. It's a uh, triple crochet granny square. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the back doesn't look that good. Uh, just the front. I've already got quite a few squares made. Well, maybe not quite a few. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is completely finished. I've got some in various stages, though. I've got some just the middle, some the outside, but the string's not tucked in. And that way I'm not always doing a complete square. I get kind of bored that way. 
I have different jobs. So that's all I have for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.